Today, more and more people have exotic animals in their homes, from unusual rodents to snakes and crocodiles. Chipmunks are popular because they look cute and are not very fastidious in their keeping needing. From the Latin the name translates as, superintendent of the household. Apparently, it is associated with a love of order and high stockiness. Chipmunks are rodent species that live in the wild mostly in North America. The genus has about 25 species. These are small critters that range in size from 5 to 15 centimeters in length, and weigh from 30 to 120 grams. A distinctive feature of this genus is the dark stripes along the entire case on the back. The basic coloration is brown in different shades. Unlike other congeners, chipmunks lead a daytime lifestyle. At the same time, in winter they hibernate. Feed mainly on plants, but sometimes they can eat insects. They began to keep chipmunks in captivity relatively recently. As it was found out, they quickly become accustomed to humans, lead a diurnal lifestyle and show practically no cowardice to humans. At the same time, they are prone to diseases, which not every doctor would agree to treat, and also treat their congeners aggressively, if they live in one cage with them. Pros of Keeping Chipmunks at Home In contrast to its closest relative, the squirrel, has almost no unpleasant odor. In addition, they are very clean and tidy, they go to the toilet only in a certain place of the cage, do not scatter food, often brush their coats. They quickly get used to taking food from people's hands, which means they easily become tame. Getting used to their owners, chipmunks will never bite them. They calmly react to strokes even of small children. Only if they do not cause them pain and discomfort. They are interesting to watch. Over time, the chipmunk develops a clear regime for the day. Waking up in the morning, after washing, he usually pulls out of the house all the bedding for airing. During the day he does other things that are important to him, brushing his coat, checking the food supply, playing. By evening, he puts the bedding back in place. At night, he plugs all the cracks and entrances of the house tightly. Chipmunks are quite easy to keep and eat. To live in it, they need a cage with frequent bars, a bedding, preferably wooden, and also a house, there he hides and sleeps. Also the cage must have a feeder and a drinker. If the cage has a wheel and mazes, where the pet can make rooms, then such a cage can be called ideal. The food should be varied, but it should not be too expensive, vegetables, fruits, grains, cereals, leafy salads, nuts. Chipmunks are not cowardly animals. They are curious and brave, without fear relate to man, do not hide from him in the house, ask him for food and sit quietly in his arms. Home weather station, chipmunks are able to sense the rain and inform about its approach with funny sounds. Unlike common rodents, hamsters and decorative rats, which live not more than four to five years, chipmunks are capable of living in captivity up to ten years. Of course, provided that it is properly maintained. Cons of keeping chipmunks at home Extremely agile animals cannot sit in a cage all day. In the wild, these little animals can cover 12 kilometers in a day. Therefore, they badly need walks out of the cage, which requires increased attention and time spent by the owners, after all, the chipmunk must be watched so that it does not run away into inaccessible places and does not chew on valuable objects. High Price Owning and maintaining a chipmunk can be a little expensive, approximate initial cost about $600, and every year about $150. On the other hand, it is possible that, having paid such a sum for the animal, the owners will treat it more responsibly. The animal is afraid of hypothermia and drafts, so its cage must be chosen in a place where it will be safe. Overcooling may be fatal for this animal. Preferably, the chipmunk lives in a cage alone. Despite their easygoing stance towards humans, these little animals perceive their congeners extremely aggressively, and the stronger one may maim or even kill the weaker one. If the owners decided to keep two chipmunks in one cage, 
they must settle them at least for the autumn winter period, because at that time their aggressiveness towards each other peaks. Chipmunks practically do not reproduce in captivity. Unlike rats, hamsters and rabbits, it is practically impossible to get offspring from striped representatives of the squirrel family. Small size of the animal does not allow keeping it in a family with small children, as they can hurt or even kill it by accident. If the critter appeared in the house before the baby, then you should not allow the child to take the chipmunk in their hands until they are of an informed age. In case of the animal's illness not every veterinarian will undertake its treatment, first, because only few doctors work with small animals, and secondly, not everyone is ready to treat an exotic animal. Exposure to many diseases, heart problems, liver disease, colds, stomach upsets, heat strokes and injuries. The animal may hibernate. But the fact is that it is almost impossible to make sure that the animal has enough nutrients in its body to sleep for several months in the home. Therefore, there is a possibility that the chipmunk may not come out of hibernation anymore. Conclusion The chipmunk is a funny and interesting animal that can please its owners for almost a decade. But to do so, it needs suitable living conditions and adequate nutrition. It is not worth to get a striped friend for families with small children and people who do not have enough time to take care of the pet. Are you thinking about getting a chipmunk? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a chipmunk, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.